That's not an ideal forecast, unfortunately, guys, because we do still have what's left at this point of uh, Michael. It's still a tropical storm getting swept up by this cold front, as we had pointed out earlier. So that's the story. That is the main pattern here. But let's take a look at where we currently stand. We had those heavy pockets of rain already come through. We are far from finished with this, unfortunately. But the bulk of the precip that's going to fall in the northwestmost corner of our area has now fallen. Now it's still falling in the Poconos, but Lehigh Valley Burks, yeah, you're still going to likely still have a couple of residual showers, but I think that the bulk of the precip that we see from this point forward is the outlying suburbs immediately adjacent to Philadelphia and all points south and east. So Chester, Montgomery, Bucks County and all points south and east. Here's a live look for you at Bethlehem. It looks like it's actually trying to brighten up a little bit. Don't get used to that. I don't think we're totally done just yet, but you again have obviously had a pretty wet start to the day and now that we enter the afternoon, it's very damp. Even if it's not actually raining from the sky, you'll have to be flicking your windshield wipers here and there as we saw with the mobile weather watcher out on on Kelly Drive and that goes for everyone. When we take a look ahead though, put future weather into motion and it's scattered. You know, that was the expectation all along that there wouldn't be this surge of rain that comes through in one fell swoop that you're going to have breaks along the way, but where the pockets of rain come through, they are drenching. So I would still keep your umbrella ready to go the rest of the day, especially for the second half here as a lot of people are making their commute home for the evening. There could be some really drenching rain. The heaviest, however, and most widespread, most prolonged batch comes with Michael, and that is what's clipping these southeast most counties. I mean, when you start to see that the maroons and the magentas showing up on future weather, you know you're talking really heavy rain, and that's going to relatively swiftly roll through here. I mean, this is 4 a.m. We're going on the air 4:30 and into 5 a.m. and it's clearing the coast. But what will have happened overnight is several inches worth of accumulating rain will have come down. So especially true for those southernmost counties, Kent, Sussex, and then Cape. May and even clipping Cumberland and Atlantic counties, you could easily be talking about four inches worth of rain out of this come this uh, same time tomorrow as we start to see everything drain away. In addition to that, wind. There could be gusts that easily peak as high as 50 miles per hour. So we are looking at the coastline here down toward Delaware and New Jersey. And these are future wind gusts expected for the rest of the day. They're still pretty strong now, but they should ease somewhat tonight before that remnant Michael uh, moisture gets in here. And when that does overnight, they pick right back up again. So we could easily be dealing with 45 to 50 mile per hour gusts at all of the area shore points early tomorrow morning and then just as quickly as it came it starts to ease up at least a little bit so it's going to take a bit longer for the wind to ease up but the rain will get out of here and skies start to clear pretty nicely so i wouldn't call tomorrow a great beach day but it will start to brighten up at least now let's talk about the birds they're up obviously in new york or New Jersey later on this evening, and it looks like there will be some showers and storms around from the very same system that's impacting us. So I worry that there could be if there's thunderstorms in the area, some delays, but at minimum, there is going to be an impact from the weather tonight. In the meantime, behind all of this huge temperature change, the temperatures bottom out into the 40s, both Saturday and Sunday mornings. So you might find yourself turning on the heat here over the course of the weekend. It certainly will be cool enough for that, but we do begin another rebound out ahead of another frontal boundary heading into Monday. So we flirt with 70 by then, but we might see a few showers as a result of that frontal boundary coming in. We're coming right back. Thank you.